How are you? This is Regal's Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here with our yin and yang tribe, where last time we were trying our best to move our melodism tribe continuously around the island, um, and just trying to collect as much of the food as possible, so that we can make sure and keep our food stores up above the number of creatures that we have. Um, and we had a new creature decided wanted to come join us. This is uh, Mimi. I think I usually call them Mimi. It's just easier that way in my head. Uh, and she has the water body and two deformed paws. So that's going to be a lot of fun trying to breathe out. She's we're, we're definitely loading up her mutation menu with things. Um, so we let her lead um, this Taduk into the water so that he could use his higher swimming to try and get some things out of the ocean. Just to help. Um, I think he's got normal tail, unfortunately, instead of swimming tail, which makes his swimming a lot better, but it's better than his one movement speed on land. So it's something. Um, and then I think at the end of last time we also had this bear Yina decide to show up on over here with these guys uh, and Krahum is gonna laugh in the face of Dan Ginger and uh, destroy it and then keep moving uh, just you know the usual um, I was going to I wanted to at least uh, try to do what I like to do in between and check compatibility for all of our creatures in their respective tribes. But, um, it's Thanksgiving here in the US, coming up in a couple of days, and, uh, I, there, there's enough on my plate right now with holiday prep and, uh, work and this, so just, um, it didn't happen. So we're gonna have to, uh, try to eyeball them as we go and see who is compatible with whom and just ride by the seat of our pants basically that's how it, it feels to me whenever I do it while recording so I would do what I prefer but I can't today so we're gonna continue with what we got so let's go ahead and dive in here and get started I kind of looked like glanced for a second at some of these guys and uh, the main ones that would be different genes would be permafrost, uh, velvet, and wherever the heck she went. There she is. Frostbite. Um, just because Frostbite is Chiron and uh, Franz's baby. That's why she has Arrow. And then permafrost... No, no, no. Wait, wait. No, Frostbite and Permafrost were Franz and Azazel's baby, and then Velvet was Franz and Chiron's baby. Yeah, there we go. Um, I had to keep them straight in my head for some reason. And then we had someone over here that was um, Azazel and... Uh meringues baby midnight and r2 i believe for those yeah because sansa aria ghost john ivory and we had another somewhere that's passed away dang it frost yeah so just all kinds of things going on it's great it's fantastic so let's go ahead and dive in here Get started, like I said a minute ago. We're gonna start over here with the Baryina then, I guess. Uh, Chrome, if you could do the honors for me. They have the exact same immunity genes, thank you very much. So, we'll have them grab this and continue C and B. And she came this way because she has the melanism. Um, let's have Belladonna go ahead and grab her things. 
and she'll grab from this one and Taruk to grab all of these. Ivory, you're stuck. <laughs> I don't know what to have her do right now. We're gonna have Esther go ahead and pick this clean because we can use those. We can use those at least. Um, someone will use them. Let's see, and then I can have Summer come and grab this one. Unfortunately, Midnight can't grab from that, so we'll have her come over and see about some fish. So we'll let them go on ahead and grab the fish. And then I noticed um, in the comment section, someone mentioned trying to pull from some of these guys they have in their recessives. Let's see if I can find it. It'll probably be on ball. Yes, the sticky tongue. Uh, we got that from Azazel and several of his children got it as well in the recessives. So we will see about doing that because that would be very interesting. Having some um, medium body fishers with sticky tongue to try to grab from every resource available that is technically alive. Um, I will, we'll have to see if we can get that on all of our creatures. Um, but we'll have to see. Like I said, it's a thing. Esther? Who can I put you with? Definitely not church. Or Panta. Or Paul. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Nope. Not you. Dang. We'll have to find her a mate that is albinism and melanism. Because all of these guys have C and D. Alright, Hannah has A, B, thankfully. So we might be able to use her genes with someone else. Get her to hop on across. We had some of them go out, but some of them are going to have to go across this way. Grab that. And Frostbite will probably feel weird being surrounded by all of these guys again. Um, we're going to have them go through the easy way, just because it is technically easier. But they're going to stay on the outskirts. We're not going to intermingle too much this time. Um, we need to make sure we keep them on whichever size they're going to be on. And actually I should do their gemstone colors again like I was uh, back when I did that. Let's get Esther this away. Oh dear. They're getting left behind. Let's um... Panta be a little worried about someone. Okay, church. Hmm. I'm gonna push him this direction. For simplicity's sake. Mm, I think Rory most likely isn't having children. simply because he doesn't have melanism or albinism, and that's something that we desperately want. The only reason might would be for that H immunity. Summer has albinism recessive. Frostbite has melanism recessive technically, but the albinism would come out first. Notch has albinism recessive. I'm trying to think what I'm doing. Wheaty. Ivory. I mean, it's the only thing I can do with that berry bush. Unless I get Belladonna over to here. Or over to that spot. We could trade them, but... Yeah. We need a better... Um... Way for this. So let's see, you three, I don't 
don't have a whole lot y'all can do right now. Let's have Frostbite come kind of help out this direction. Rory, we want to stay near his sister. Because he helps her out. I'm 90% certain they're twins. So let's go ahead and do that. And then Notch. Eh. He has E. Who are you? Rogue male and... Oh, he's my accident. I remember that. Okay, uh, let's send him towards... Where is she? Permafrost. Yeah, he could help over there with the fishing. On that side, I guess. He lost the... Melanism. I think she had melanism too, right? Yeah. That really weird, rare, very small percentage of them. Let's see. Arya. R2 needs to be- they both need to be purred for, of course. You guys need to back off. Mouse is another one of our rogue. Yeah, Ivory and the rogue male. Let's go ahead and send her back up towards her brother. I think. See if we have some insight about what they can do next. Let's see, and then Snowy. Snowy, where is your twin? Was Shard your twin? Rory and Summer, and then Belladonna. Hey. I could send him over there. It wouldn't hurt. C and H, though. I don't think we have H in our albinism creatures. And technically, he could be with Sansa. He could be with all of our albinism creatures. This might be the face of our next <laughs> creature. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, yeah, because all of our albinism are A's and B's. A couple of uh, C's over here, but they can be with someone else. Scene A, scene B, yeah. So, yeah, he could be with someone else. Or, yeah, they- those two can be with someone else, but everyone else could technically be with him once. That's interesting. I didn't ever think of that. What do we want, though? Nimble fingers. And medium body. Yeah. Nimble fingers, scorpion tail, medium body, uh, good eyesight. Because your father was him. And Quanto. So yeah, he's gonna have a lot of babies, apparently. Okay, um, and a head shape. Let's do nimble fingers and a head shape. And, let's see, nimble fingers. And these guys are 100% the purse snouts, the healers. So I think we should do, we should try for purse snout and try to do something else. Um, 
somewhere else. So nimble fingers and purr snout. Pacifist healers would be nice. And then we'll slowly set up the girls' um, ones over time. And we'll put her over here so she can grab that bunny on the next turn. Technically, Sansa and R2 could have a baby as well, and then have someone foster it for them. Just because they can't get close to it. That could work. And that could give us albinism. So we might do that as well. Um, you two in the water. Let's see if y'all can't help us with our fish situation. There we go. They're gonna run before we can get that way, but you know what? We tried. There's a fish over there. The heck? It looks kind of down. All right, Snowy. We'll wait to see a little bit longer for you, but we'll have to try at least. All right, Sansa, can you get up? Nice, perfect. Okay, let's get him towards, I guess, Arya first. So Arya hasn't had any babies either. And then for her, we'll do... Oh, she's just like her mother. Okay, uh, Mega Horns and... I think we'll start running for the Scorpion Tail. Or the Scorpion Tail and the Sticky Tongue. Who did we set you up for? Meringue and Chiron. We set her up for someone. Oops. Oh, look at that. And then we'll get him back. It's over here. He's just gonna make a migration around to everyone. Okay, Shard is the last one. And that's my fault. I completely forgot he's over here. Uh, those are already picked. Okay, that is everyone. So let's go ahead and go to the next day. Just them. Okay. Sweet. So, I still need to do the checking on people and trying thing, but it's just one thing after another. Taruk is about to pass away and he's only got one bit of energy. So, that's a thing. Um, I don't see wanting his genes for the other side of the tribe. No. They, they don't need any of it besides the big nose, which isn't something they're desperate to acquire. We already have a few. Over here, I think. One, two. They only have two. Darn. That's fine. They're they're trying to get sticky tongue anyway. Okay. Well, we'll have to look through and see who has sticky tongue. Hannah has sticky tongue. Would you look at that? She got it from her father. Um. Unfortunately, because I looked around too much and was considering jeans, it did take longer than. I typically would like. We got a lot of food, which is nice, but I took a little bit longer. I, I do need to sit and just stare at them for a whole hour and decide who's going to be mated with whom. Um, just going to take a bit. I want to experiment with um, this guy and find out how albinism is affected by the toxic body. I don't remember if we've done that. If y'all remember and or have seen it with someone else, do please let me know in the comment section. Uh, very curious to see how that's going to go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna run these guys towards healing 
pacifists that only have a little bit of defense and it's probably going to be the scorpion tail. Uh, we're going to have manticores, uh, cats with lion heads with the, the scorpion tail. They're going to be completely albino. It's going to be fun. And then we're going to have sticky tongue fishers over here. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be great. Anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me today. If y'all could do, please leave a like. Uh, leave any tips, tricks, suggestions, as well as naming suggestions in the comment section down below. And do please subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.